Uh, we'll be talking today about some of the current kind of known issues and bugs and other things that are going on, as well as a few other things dedicated to land and Second Life. Izzy's here, he'll help us out, I'm sure. And um, you know, we'll even talk a little bit about some upcoming events and stuff like that. So I wanted to start off um, by touching on Linden Homes. Very popular. We have a new Linden Home that launched uh, in the last month. That's the uh, Chalets. It's our seventh theme. It's kind of has the look and feel of a, a European Alpine wood timbered home. Um, there's eight varieties of chalets uh, for open plan, four have multiple rooms. Um, I'd also recommend if you want to check them out to also be sure to visit. Uh, we have a large community space at Tavern um, called the Betrukin Mouse, which is the drunken mouse in English. Uh, that's in the Mahulenbach region, and let me type that here. You can't miss it in the region. It's a very large dominant structure. So um, you also find uh, throughout all the regions, there's lots of seating areas and ponds and other really f nice features that, the, you know, you know what the mole's been doing. They're beautiful. Um, I also think it's worth noting that uh, with the uh, chalet expansion, uh, at long last, the two major continents in Second Life are joined. Um, that joins Heterosolar Atoll, Sansara, Geogot, Ugieta, Corsica, Nautilus, and Satori. So you can travel all of those continents um, in a single flight or boating trip or uh, other unusual contrivance that you might happen to ride on, I suppose, flying carpet or whatever. Um, so that should be a lot of fun. Uh, if you're interested in the chalet homes or any of the other Linden home themes, um, you can get them from our website. Uh, that's at that Earl, almost called a slur, that Earl. Um, there are more themes, uh, likely be announced in the not too distant future. Can't really say a whole lot. Um, but, uh, it'll be exciting. I guarantee it. Um, yes, indeed, Rez, that was a long time coming. I'm so glad the maps are working now, uh, for all of us. Yes, how dare we, Dottie? How dare we? Um, I'm going to add a couple more things, uh, just that, uh, with some of the Linden homes, uh, there's a couple of issues we've been seeing um, in concierge, make you aware of in case you didn't know them and how to fix them. Um, we've noticed, uh, with some of the campers, uh, you might get a camper and you'll have two campers on the, on there and you can't get rid of one of them. Um, if that happens, uh, just contact us, uh, create a support case or a live chat and, uh, we can take care of that second one pretty quickly for you. Uh, there's also been some people have talked about, you know, with the stilt homes, they might not have the the windows working right, or the doors, uh, particularly the patio doors, might not be opening and closing correctly. Uh, there's even an easier fix for that one. You go to your home controller that's in the front of the stilt home. It looks like a, a pier with a lantern on top. Uh, click that, res a fresh copy of your home. Um, that problem will instantly be fixed. You might have to do some, if you've changed the color of it, you might have to change it back, but pretty quick fix. Um, oh, and also if, if for some reason you get a Linden home and the parcel doesn't have a home on it, or if the home controller isn't working the way you expected, um, again, just toss a support case, let us know in live chat, and we can fix that right up. Any questions about the Linden homes? I guess not. I said too much. Uh, Lexo, um, 
Yeah, we know that. And um, there's still some more expansion coming, and that's really all I can say on it at this point. But uh, there may be some more bypasses or other things coming up uh, that'll help with that. You know, we'll see. Um, I'd also, I might recommend um, if you have a path that you would like to see through there or something like that to uh, file a JIRA at uh, jira.secondlife.com and let uh, our staff know that you're looking for this particular passage. I can't say that they'll do that exact one. They may have other plans in mind and other ideas of where they want things to go, but by all means, let us know that through that way and uh, they'll take care of it. Also, Res, I'm not quite sure what the autopilot warp system you're referring to is. Um, if you've got more information, feel free to toss it. We don't have any information on that Van Helsing, so unless Wendy has a better idea, that might be a feature request JIRA to see if that's something that can be reviewed. And we can show you how to uh, submit a JIRA with that suggestion. So we can go ahead and escalate it up. Yeah, that could be something useful, Rez. Um, you know, I, I really can't say from where I am whether it would be allowed or not or anything like that, but uh, we do have a lot of different vehicles and other things like that out there, so it may well be fine. Um, love to see more about it, you know. Um, maybe send in a juror or a ticket. Let's take a look, see what we can do. I know, or at least I bet I know. One thing that uh, a lot of people may not know is that um, if you have a region surround on a region, uh, you know, where it shows islands or mountains or whatnot that goes beyond the edge of a region, um, most of those islands are made out of sculpted prims, which are a couple of years older now, but they have a bounding box that you can't see, which is why most of them are, are uh, phantom because it would otherwise disrupt your movement in the region. But that bounding box is part of what the camera uses when it creates a map tile. Uh, when it sees that bounding box, it's gonna see the general color of everything that's on your sim surround. So you're gonna see kind of a, a solid brown or a solid kind of dark green or whatnot over your entire region. And what it's doing, it's trying to view that sim surround and it's viewing the bounding of it. It's just blocking everything out. Um, you could theoretically remove the the surround for the shot, but of course, when you put it back, the next time the map updates, it's going to just do that again. It's one of the unfortunate problems with sim surrounds.
you can actually kind of see what I'm talking about if you look at um, as an example, not to call them out because it's a great bunch, but if you look at the Burning Man deep hole region, you'll see that it just looks like a solid beige, and that's the mountains that are surrounding the region and the balloning of it just covering everything that's there. As an aside also, just because we're talking about the map tiles, um, the map tiles uh, render everything up to about um, just under like 400 meters. So if you have sky boxes on your region, you'll want to keep them at least over that if you don't want them to show up on the map. Um, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, just a good way to think of it. And also, I know a lot of people like to put pictures and so forth up there. Uh, that, of course, would be below that limit. Yes, indeed. So moving forward, Second Life's 18th birthday is coming up in just a few months, celebrating our 18th birthday. It will be held June 18th through July 1st. And this theme is, for this year is called Hidden Worlds. Applications are still open for performers, volunteers, and exhibitors. Uh, you can find all the details and links to the sign-up forms right here. More information on SL18B will be coming up, will be coming to the blog as well as additional ways to participate. So you want to keep it locked on the featured news section of the blog. Let me go ahead and post that here. That link actually didn't work, the first one. Here we go. And with every meeting, we always mention that you can um, choose to actually follow this blog and receive updates uh, based on how you would like to receive them. There's going to be a module in the top right corner that says follow. If you just go ahead and click that, It'll open up a smaller window and they'll give you the uh, ways to go ahead and follow this page so you're alerted when there's new updates uh, such as an email per day, per week, don't send me any notifications, or you know, let me know when uh, new content is posted. So very exciting, 18 years. Yeah. <laughs> I think we might have touched on this, but uh, teleports. So we've had a few issues with teleports, especially when an avatar attempts to go back to a location they visited during the same session. Some cone changes are in the works, which should improve some of the recent teleport failures. Uh, we have a JIRA here. And we recently updated the code for this, and the feedback so far has been positive, but uh, let us know uh, what you guys think, so we can go ahead and relay that information. Yeah, that can be an issue too, Rez, and it's one that, you know, sometimes it can be the, the network, things like that. Um, a lot of people don't realize that, or, or it's just like, one of the weird connections that we see is people have problems logging in and it turns out it's an issue with, say, your inventory, uh, which doesn't make a lot of sense on the surface because you're going, why would my inventory do this? But when you have like a large inventory and it's very um, all sitting at the top level, all that stuff needs to read in when you log in um, and that can cause problems like that. And it can, you know, things like that, like network connections causing teleport issues when you're already logged in, um, it's a thing. There's all sorts of little, little way things high in. 
Um, well, it's not so much. I mean, large to me is anything over like a hundred thousand. Um, but it's more complicated than that because it can be um, just that much, but it's all sitting at the very top level in the My Inventory folder. Um, it's all sitting out. That all needs to be read in, whereas you could have 200,000, 300,000, whatever, and have it all sorted and in folders and in subfolders and only have you know your system show folder showing on the top. Um, Basically, what we call it when you've got everything up on that top layer is a flat inventory um, where it's all just out there. And right. those can cause some problems logging in. We have ways that we can fix that. Uh, there's ways, though, that you can monitor that before it comes to that, um, before we, you know, take the the scalpel to it. You don't want that. Um, but uh, it really varies. You know, again, it's not only how many items, but where they are. Um, we generally recommend like about 10% of your inventory be or your, your items to be folders um, so that all those things are sorted and put into subfolders and taken care of. It actually ends up helping um, with your logins. Speaking about logins, I also wanted to bring up, uh, we've been having some issues lately with uh, Didi, uh, which is the beta grid. Um, we've been having issues with, uh, you know, if you've never been there before, uh, copying over your accounts, uh, resyncing your accounts, um, you know, to update the inventory and so forth on the beta grid. Uh, some of those issues are still ongoing. We've talked about them last couple of times. Um, we have been seeing some issues even with accounts that haven't been able to log in, um, having login failures, which all of that ends up tying back to the same issues. It's it's all stuff our developers have been working pretty heavily on. Yeah, um, I'm trying to get that fixed. We have heard that they're starting to get some, some work uh, complete on that to get that fully functional. Um, it's been a long while. We're all really happy to see it, um, but it's not quite there yet. Um, you can follow at that link that uh, Vix just posted in chat. Subscribe to that uh, and keep an eye out if getting into the beta grid is a key thing for you. No for me, TA. But I would definitely follow the blog uh, that I posted um, because we are uh, sending updates when we can regarding it. So a quick update on search. Search should also be somewhat improved, returning better results than it has lately. If you are still seeing issues, please consider filing a JIRA at, um, let me go ahead and post the link here, um, because we do want to um, be made aware of uh, any issues that are still happening. Oh, I can do better than that one. And friending and groups, uh, we are still seeing some issues with um, friending and group invites uh, with offline residents. Um, they may get the friend request or the group invite, but it may silently fail. So right now that is also being currently worked on. Um, both will work though if both accounts are logged in at the same time. Um, so that's a good workaround that we discovered. Uh, we have a JIRA for the issue right here.
and with groups, uh, since many of you know because we've talked about it here before, um, group chat failures is still a thing uh, post uplift. Um, there's been a lot of attention to it, and uh, we are you know, trying our best to tamper it down. Um, but as always, you know, report it as you see it coming in, and uh, we'll do our best to uh, get it temporarily uh, resolved. And we have a blog on that one here that you can also follow. Does anyone have any questions or, or comments on any of that, or really anything um, that we can that we can respond to? We'd love to hear it. Did you what? What was it, Adam? I don't think we have any new news regarding that. Yeah, I don't think there's anything new on Premium Plus. Mobile Client, um, it is still very much being worked on. Um, I don't have any details on you know, ETA for a public beta, but it is definitely still being worked on internally. And uh, there's been a lot of updates internally on it, but there's nothing I really have that can be shared, unfortunately. Um, keep your hopes up, hopefully soon. Take care, Dottie. Thanks for stopping by, Dottie. Amy, I believe that code is actually live on the server. I'm not sure if that's been put into the uh, the viewer yet, but I actually I think I'm going to take a look and see what I can find out of that. At the very least, yeah. I'll have something next time um, if I don't find something sooner and ping you, because I'm curious on that myself. Yeah, we'll make a note and follow up uh, next month with that one. Because uh, new code features are released on with every release page, you can actually view the listing of all the improvements and fixes that are part of that viewer version. Oh, you're totally welcome. Here is the most recent one, but we'll go dig it and see if we can uh, find any news regarding the, um, the text chat range expanding. Yeah, I know that feature was uh, rolling out just uh, a couple of months before Uplift, and I know that a lot of things got kind of, okay, we'll get back to that, you know, because we had to get Uplift done. Um, so that'll be something to follow up on for sure. And we've talked a lot about uh, bugs and issues that we're working on. How about some good news? Yeah. I like good news. I actually visited this uh, earlier today. Um, right now the Fantasy Fair is starting or trying something new, and they're having a short film festival. Well, uh, the first part just ended, I believe. Uh, yeah, as our meeting started, ended. Um, but they're running two films. Um, the first one um, was a Loki Elliott retrospective uh, that ran for an hour. And um, if you visit um, their, their location, I'll go ahead and give you the location here. Um, they have something at 3 o'clock, Domo by Huckleberry Hacks. Let me go ahead and uh, share the plural for those guys here. Uh, yes, we are in... And voice there, but I'm sorry that you can't hear us.
Um, you're not wasting your time, actually. No. Um, whether it's in the cloud or not, um, you know, you're still going to have scripted objects that are, you know, going to work better when it's restarted every so often. You know, things chunk up a little bit. So stored memory. Yeah. Um, yeah, pushing it to a new host is still a good idea to resolve, you know, any number of common issues that arise when a region is um, uh, online executive for an extended period. Um, we still are doing rolling restarts. Um, and we still, you know, look at regions and if there's a problem, the first thing we do is see how long it's been up and we try to restart. So, yeah, that's very much still, I think, you know, our, our first uh, troubleshooting step, pushing it to a new host and see what happens. Hey, you're welcome. And it's been brought up uh, numerous times in our past meetings, and we do appreciate the feedback. But we have a JIRA regarding any music stream dropout. Here's the bug for it. So the report escalates the issue to the developer so they can uh, review and see what's happening. Um, if you come across any new information that you don't happen to see in this JIRA, um, you can go ahead and, and report it as well. Um, I'm checking to make sure this is a um, yes public facing, so everybody can hop in if you have something new to share. And uh, there's already been a few comments on here, so um, yeah, we're happy to see that there's a report here, and it does have some, some activity. So hopefully uh, something comes out of it, and this can be a uh, issue that we mark resolved soon. Although obviously no ETA, <laughs> it's still very much in the discussion phase and narrowing down where the the issue could be. Actually, I recall hearing about that issue in Too Laggy. Uh, we were out not too long ago trying to troubleshoot and find out what's going on there as well, and I don't think we've been able to find it yet. Um, I don't know if it's uh, uh, necessarily up or for later or not, but uh, it sounds like we need to revisit that. Um, if there's not a current support ticket on it, if you could file one, that would be nice. Um, we can take a look at that. Hey, Neil, also to address your question, um, that wasn't actually a hard question. That's what we're here for. Um, upgrading the prims from uh, 20 to 30K um, does always present a risk, especially the type of items that you're resing out. Um, if they're decoration items, you know, things that are, are going to improve the scenery, that really wouldn't have an impact. But if you're building out, let's say, a store or a club or, you know, um, gaming kiosks, uh, things that involve you know a heavy amount of scripts that would have an impact. Um, however, we've noted marked improvements with script performances post uplift on existing regions. Um, so we're confident that the current configuration, and this is always something that will probably be reviewed, um, but we're happy or satisfied that how the regions are configured now um, should be sufficient in handling the extra primps. Um, so it was you know, obviously a decision way back where we said regions can now handle the extra 10,000 prims. Um, you know, we're confident in that configuration then. And I think that post-uplift performances with chips in mind has actually improved. Um, you know, there was a lot of testing. You know, we were involved as well. And um, yeah, we noted that um, scripts in general performed a lot better post-uplift. So. I think, you know, although it, it will always be something that can be open for review, I think um, right now we're, we're kind of happy where, with um, you know, how it's playing out, I guess, pull up, post uplift. Hopefully that all made sense. <laughs> it wasn't just like a roundabout.
and also to add on, Neo, um, if you start seeing specific issues uh, related to performance, um, I recommend submitting a support ticket and including information like the uh, date, time, uh, which region, and um, if you can target which items were, you know, behaving in such a fashion that it looked like, you know, it could have been something region related, and we'll happy to take a look. How do you see them performing you know, uh, with your eyes on the region? Because um, sometimes, although we do rely on uh, the statistics bar, uh, we also see with visual uh, tools, you know, the scripts are performing better, or they're holding up better. They're, you know, the load is better where we can put more scripts down and they're still running. Um, so yeah, we would probably need specific. If you're seeing something specific. Um, Maybe we can gain a foothold and start, you know, burrowing into what you might be looking at, so we can at least come up with a cause. And um, if we can't uh, resolve it, then we can at least guide you into a chair where our engine. Yes, there has. And I think uh, border crossing, NEO specifically, um, I think border crossing now is amazingly better. It, it really is. Uh, couldn't be happier. And everyone at Lake C, enjoy. <laughs> it's almost seamless. I would say teleports are probably a little bit different because you're talking about jumping from from one to another. Where border crossing, it's you, you know you're let's say for example you're in an airplane and you're you're traveling across. Um, I think that it's a more gradual transition versus teleporting. Um, no, we can probably get into more specifics, but yeah, um, while border crossings have improved, we are seeing issues with teleporting, for example. Hello, Maxwell. So we covered a lot. Any questions about uh, any of the issues or uh, news that we brought up so far? It's pretty much an open forum now, so whatever you have. And we did touch on map tiles, right, Wendy? Yeah, we talked about them a little bit. Um, 
you know, like was already said, they are back up and running. Um, see if I have anything else specific on those. Um, yeah, one of the, uh, I'll just touch on them a bit. Um, they are restored. Um, the code actually on those had to be um, uh, largely rewritten from scratch. Um, the code on them hadn't been updated for several years. Um, and there were issues that actually had been going on for a couple of years. Um, with like not being able to zoom into certain levels and things like that. All of those are fixed now. Um, right now, the only, the only, there's still some tweaking that are going on to get everything just the way they want, but overall it's working a lot better on the map tiles. Um, one thing I did want to mention, um, when I think about it, is uh, the last time, uh, last meeting, um, Scott Paul and another resident had an issue with music dropping out on the uh, streams uh, after a few minutes. Uh, we talked to them about creating a, a JIRA and getting that up there. Um, right now, uh, the developers are looking for a bit more information, fairly specific, you know, what system, date, time, this sort of stuff. Um, if you're experiencing that issue or you're curious, uh, please feel free to check out that JIRA. Um, comment on it. Uh, leave some of your own experiences and information. No detail too small. Um, but that'll help them out, help our devs to, to solve that one. Dory, I would also check to see um, if they if they are listed as an estate manager and it's not grouped on and we're just talking about straight, you know, state manager. Um, let us know the region. Um, contact us because um, if they are listed as an estate manager and there's nothing on the parcel that would prohibit just them, um, then we definitely want to come out and take a look. But um, I think Probably the most common thing would be if it's a group owned parcel and they're not part of that group, although they're an estate manager, and if the parcel is deeded to the group, that group would assume power over that area. So they would not only be, have to be an estate manager, they would have to be within that group, with the group to have active and have that role to terraform. That's just one possible theory. Exo, that, uh, our, IXO, I'm sorry, I'm munging your name, um, but uh, that does look, that that Jira looks great. Um, thank you for putting that in. Thank you. Any other questions, concerns, things you want to talk about? I think right now those are very hypothetical, but... Um, <laughs> Not going to say no on them, but um, it's out of our hands right now. Request. Yeah, it would be a feature request. I'm sure that there's discussions going on about that, but I also know that, you know, it's been a couple of months of, uh, since Uplift, and we're still kind of working out some of the bugs there. I imagine they want that to settle down a little bit more before we uh, start making the big regions or not. As the answer to that, if a mega region going to cost more than a private region, and let's say it's twice the size, you might get the same thing right now with the homestead, unless you're looking for like, you know, full prims, a 20K prim or 40,000 prim region. Um, you might get the same effect right now uh, 
uh, by just adding on a homestead. They're cheap, much. They're priced much cheaper than a full region. In fact, you have to own a full region before you qualify for a homestead. But it it definitely adds a whole lot more uh, space to to your island for you know a fraction of the cost. And the performance is there as well. So less prims, but same configuration. So you can expect the same kind of performance, like especially if you're um, expanding like a boating community or something of the like. Um, you'll enjoy the extra space. Here, here. She's been quiet over there. We'll have to put a spotlight on Izzy. Did anybody bring a spotlight, Adam? <laughs> Hey, Izzy, what's no a land? land? <laughs> When's the next... Uh, I have no idea, Wendy. Company. What is that? I don't know. It's like a sim, I've been waiting right? for the Scarface Linden Homes, and so far, I'm disappointed. Just remember, Izzy, the S in Linden Labs stands for sim. <laughs> Yeah, I just turned 14 past February, so yeah, I'm, I'm one of the old men on campus. Well, Lexo, that's just me as a Linden. That's not me as a resident. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat. I've got a got two years on my 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 Linden hood, but uh, many 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 years before that uh, as a resident. What is this open sim that you're referring to? I have no idea. You know, I'd put that on like about a six on the pain scale, Gus. Yeah, Gus, um, I, I, I would agree with that. The, yeah. the thing is, is for a while, it was kind of awkward for us to complain about it because we were in so many locations. We were kind of like, well, we are a bunch of labs, but no, the company is Linden Lab. We're just sticking with that. Oh, Vix, do not start dissing on Amber again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Amber. <laughs> you either, Adam Burp. Easy's going to send you all the dungeon. He's threatening you with a good time. Oh, I got a quick question since we've got 15 minutes left. There was a long period of time where April 1st was a ritual that the lab used, and then it kind of um, died off, I guess, in the mobility of the PC world uh, and everything. Uh, and then it kind of started to come back but people were concerned about it i just wanted to know what your guys's opinion of the uh annual april 1st gag that the lab used to play uh uh each year wasn't there one last year this past year there was kind of one but yeah. it was not really uh yeah. one i mean we made the two last names uh kind of thing but that was really it I remember last year we had uh, thunderstorms in the Linden Homes. That was awesome. Yes, yes. Pantera, I would love apartments, but the problem is we don't differentiate by the Z coordinate. Guess so, I will yeah, let everybody know that you want to be pranked on April 1st. That's important. Yeah, I recall, uh, gosh, many years ago now, um, we did one that uh, unfortunately 
really kind of, I don't want to say it backfired, but I know a lot of people were pretty sore about it, where we had uh, uh, we had coded in custom messages for teleports. You know, you know, tell people, I don't remember the exact sayings, but like, you know, putting hair up your posterior or whatever, instead of saying teleporting to blah, blah, blah. And I know that a lot of people got upset with that. It was all mint and humor, but, you know. Again, that's it. the problem. Anything that's humorous to five people is at least irritating to one other. Exactly, exactly. And I think we kind of kind of backed off on a lot of a lot of April first joking after that because we didn't want people to feel that you know we were making making too light of things or or whatever. I'm glad to see us do things like the apartments and then certainly the. The Owu and Uwu last names. Um, exactly. I think were really fun. I'd love to see us do more of those. So, not only just oh. April first, but I'd love to see other like uh, name options like that. Yeah, I'm um, just sorry that last names are going away again. I was really upset when I heard about that. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> There's my belated April Fools April for you, Del. I was gonna say. <laughs> You know, I was legit surprised when those names were functional. I thought it was just going to be like a page, like, hey, go get these names, and then, you know, get a page that says April Fool's. I'm like, wait, what? We actually did development time to put those names in? It took me, like, forever and a day to even understand the, the names. I, I felt <laughs> so, like, just like, yeah, I just turned 40, and poof. Okay. Yeah, I think that a lot, of, you know, it was interesting. I've seen actually a lot of um, the Owu and Uwu names come through. Uh, in too. support and seeing them in the world and so forth. So, you know, it may have been uh, a bit of humor, but um, they were definitely wanted. So, by all means. We did. It was fun, Crystal. And the regions held up. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that was uh, a very special situation, although um, that's one thing I can tell you. Um, I can't give you any information about it, but I guess for my land contribution, Reg API is looking to get a significant overhaul in the positive. Oh, good. You're not going to promise ponies for everyone, are you, Izzy? Because... Um, well, you know, if we can find a pony vendor that's willing to donate all the ponies, then I can promise ponies. Okay. Well, oh, this is this is how old I am. You guys actually had a request system once, and the one request that was granted right off the bat was for a pony. You had pony I, I was referencing in the that. Ten. Absolutely. Pony I, we never did get our forty acres and a mule. <laughs> did you yeah, get pony just, just for a while. up the unicorn. Sparkle ponies. I wonder if any of you are old enough or experienced enough in Second Life back then about the unicorn. I know you do, Wendy. Right, right. You mean the big unicorn that you walked up into? The big unicorn that, that said that you would get a free uh, present if you let it animate you. <laughs> This is like circa 2006, 2008 area. Oh, dang. <laughs> yes, I remember seeing lots of people walking around with their little baby unicorns and going, ah, I know what you did. Yeah, you don't have any idea what I had to do to get this unicorn. <laughs> yeah, cute little unicorn, traumatized eyes. 2006, that didn't even seem that long ago. I look at the counter, it's 15 years, really? Neil, I'm happy to bring back the repressed memory then. <laughs> I, I still always wanted to unleash my master plan to make Scion <laughs> foxes. You know, Dory, that, uh, that hippo um, uh, key command is in the uh, official viewer. It was returned. And then for a while, every time I teleported into a region for a Linden meeting, I would immediately say on in chat just to see if anybody had the thrower HUD on.
Gus, I would love that. That would be pretty cool. That would be a great feature request. That would make for a great Jira entry. Oh, that's uh okay, so that works in Firestorm too. I, I had a heart attack when they took away the control T command in the main viewer. I, I, I yeah, it was not good. I know we, we always push a lot on the uh the feature request, but um yeah, don't think it like we're we're blowing you off. This is the way to facilitate, you know, ideas so they can get properly reviewed. So you know, we say that'd be a great feature request. Put it in. Uh, you know, hopefully, you know, we do see some come through because we've seen a lot of great ideas come through. Right, Wendy? Easy. A lot of great ideas. Oh, yeah. That, while Absolutely. they're not in the system now, um, you know, we'll do our best to facilitate. And you know, step one is making sure um, you have the right page to, you know, send it in. Yeah, I'm actually campaigning for something that won't even affect Second Life uh, in general, but I'm big on what we call knowledge management tools. So I want a web-based UI um, that doesn't do anything, but when we roll out another version that has changes to the UI, you can click on a drop-down and say, okay, I'm used to using the UI 1.2.46, whatever, and I usually go here and do this. Where is that in the new version of the viewer? That'd be cool. Well, you know, some of the moles are starting to make their own mole bears. Maybe you can put put those on your region. Bears? What are bears? <laughs> <laughs> We've got about seven minutes left. Anybody have any questions that maybe you're sitting on that we didn't uh, that we didn't get a chance to cover yet? Uh, I have a, a dumb uh, policy question. No such thing as a dumb question, Rez. Okay, so I'm making a, uh, a another global game that's going to have its uh, a game currency, and uh, if we very loudly disclaim it, like every par first part of the interface, this is not real currency. That's fine, right? That's outside of my scope, unfortunately. Yeah, I'll probably. I was going to go. say that might actually be a good question for the uh, governance user group, though. Or, okay, so, or you can it. submit it uh, uh, under skilled gaming, just because that's the closest that it confers to, and just say, hey, does this yeah, infringe okay. into the skilled gaming uh, area? Yeah, because we're staying the heck away from any kind of random gambling stuff. It's mostly just going to be uh, cookie clicker stuff. Gotcha. No, yeah, I, I see the benefit, but I'm uh, glad that you're trying to cover your bases ahead of time. Well, I did put in the notes because of previous interactions. We, we have to do this because if we don't, the Lindens will eat our kidneys. Well, what if we're hungry? Yeah, you wouldn't donate a kidney for one of us? Maybe. <laughs> a virtual one, right? I'll, I'll put that on the inventory list. <laughs> oh, it and has a not that this is a big deal, but I'm actually uh, going on vacation starting next week, my first real vacation in, like, forever, so I'm probably going to miss this next meeting. Well, have fun on your vacation, Izzy. Absolutely. Thank you. So, and you know, that's a strong there. word, Gus. It all evolves if we're able to finally not. <laughs> I'd say a little late, but. <laughs> yeah, they all let us take vacations if you can gnaw through the straps or, or break the chains.
Well, our next meeting will be May 26th at noon, same location. Go ahead and bookmark it. Oh, I'll be back at that time. Darn. I mean, good. <laughs> Even though you guys didn't have very much for me this time. We'll make you talk about all the secrets next time, Izzy. Oh, sure. I can talk vague for for hours. <laughs> you can tell us but all the next Glendon Holmes. Thingy, and then as long as you have the thingy, then you could do the other thing. Michael Linden, um, well, he's no longer Michael Linden, but he is okay. I actually talk to him every so often. Hello, El Neo. Hmm, Maxwell, I'm going to have to refer you to Mortgage Linden. I don't know if you're serious, Max. Let me, um, let me read between the lines on this. <laughs> that actually reminds me, Maxwell. I've been meaning to reach out to you. Um, we've been actually about to close the file on your car warranty, and I wanted to talk to you about... Oh, sorry, no. Could You can save 15% uh, on your car insurance. Yes, the extended warranty on your uh, Dominus... Uh, Car. I have to check the warranties. My personal one expired. It's funny because I'm actually looking for homes myself, and I saw a just blue ram. Like, why would you even consider that? Especially run, right now. Run away. My latest mortgage is at like two point seven five. They're still really low. Uh, I got a quote yesterday for 2.25. Yeah, they're, some of them are really low. Especially here in Florida, Lexo. Gus, we have an EV, Linden. Is that close enough? And we have an EV, Linden. I call Wendy Linden. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, I got a jet, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for stopping by. Indeed, it is just about that time. Um, thank you all for coming. It's great. We appreciate it. See you in May. We'll see you then. Take care, all. Have fun, guys.